What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to be talking about the Walker Razor XV 3.0 and the Axle Ghost Strike Extreme headsets. Uh, these are hearing protection uh, and they are also Bluetooth so we're going to be talking about those today. Welcome back everybody. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be talking about uh, some headsets here uh, that are some good uh, options uh, for the range. If you're tired of the uh, over the ear uh, headsets, these are some really, really good options. I decided I wanted to try both of them just to see uh, how they worked. I've always been a big fan of the Walker Razors, the over the ear. Uh, they've always been comfortable they've always worked really really well uh, but i was looking for something a little bit different uh, because i do have a little bit of a big head so the over the ear stuff does start to i'm not gonna say like cause headaches but it just it gets uncomfortable sometimes but now this is after a long day of wearing headsets and either taking a class or doing a class and these are amplified uh, hearing protection just like what the razors are that go over the ear uh, the axles here are actually set up um, kind of like the beats so you see it's got the little cable and then these what they do is it runs behind your ear so this part right here you see it flexible so it, you can contour it toward your ear so this actually would loop behind your ear and then this sits down into your ear and then you have uh, one side for the bluetooth controls and then one side for the hearing protection controls and then it just will well, just flip it behind your neck and see this goes right behind your ear and then this just slides right down in there and then you can kind of bend it get it to pull to where it sits fairly comfortable and then same thing here just loop it over stick it in kind of and then it rides right behind your ear here so as you can see it just sits back here like this um, the downside to it sitting back here is your microphone your microphone for the Bluetooth is right there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's right here at the very end. So sitting back here like this, when you're wearing it, that is the, uh, the one thing I will say that didn't work too well uh, when I was talking on the phone. Uh, it was hard for people to hear me because of it kind of sitting back behind me a little bit. Um, it wasn't bad if I was in a fairly quiet area, like if I was sitting in the house, no TV on, nothing like that, uh, no issues, but if I'm out here in the garage or if I was out on the range or something where you have some of that uh, surrounding noise going on and stuff, it was hard for people uh, to hear if I wasn't really talking loud. Uh, so uh, that was the downside to using them during a phone call. Uh, as far as the Bluetooth, and listening to music, the sound quality was, was great. Uh, I had no issues with the sound quality. Uh, I really liked how it sounded. To me, it sounded like just any other good quality Bluetooth headset. I don't know if I'd put it up there with like the Beats. Um, those are kind of on its own level when it comes to um, listening to music. Uh, but it was a very, very good, good quality sound. It wasn't you know cheap sounding or anything like that it had a good quality sound to it you could hear you know the instruments and everything 
Now, the other downside was the, um, when it amplified the sound, it did amplify it just a little, kind of more of the residual noise. So like if the birds chirping and things like that, it, it did, it amplified that as well as somebody talking. Uh, so I kind of had to, there was a sweet spot there once I fooled with it a little bit where it wasn't, I wasn't catching a lot of the birds chirping and all that stuff going on around me, the wind blowing the leaves and things like that, uh, to just hearing the person that was talking. So I had to kind of mess with the volume a little bit on the hearing protection side of it to get it where I needed it. Um, where with the walkers, um, I could really just kind of crank them all the way up and I didn't really have a problem. But it also depended on what setting I had it on and I'm going to talk about that uh, here in a second. But these are really, really good, really, really comfortable. I, I really, really like them. Uh, just kind of run through the specs real quick. I'm not going to get too crazy. Uh, so it reduces it to 29 decibels. Um, that's with the phone tip, so it comes with phone tips. I don't know if you can see, it's got phone tips on it. And then it also comes with silicone uh, tips as well too. So, I didn't use any, I didn't use the silicone tips, but maybe one time I just didn't like the way they felt in my ear. So I don't know if there's really the big reduction, because it says with the silicone tips, it knocks it down to 22 decibels. With the phone tips, it's 29 decibels. So I will have to be honest, I didn't compare those. I put the silicone tips on. I just, I didn't like the way they felt in my ear. It, it just, it wasn't that comfortable. Uh, but the phone tips are just fine. You get what they call a small uh, and a large uh, phone tip. For me, it was the large phone tip that fit just fine. The small was just a little too small. But yeah, unfortunately I didn't, I did not test the silicone tips that just didn't feel comfortable to me. So uh, you'll have to forgive me on that part. Uh, but you see, you get the tips, it comes with a charger and it comes with a little carrying case. So it just zips up right here like that. All right, so zips up unzips there's your little carrying case you can just kind of roll them up and everything fits down in the case the charger the extra tips and the charger all fit down or the, and the headsets all fit down in this case uh, very very comfortably um, says it shuts the sound out at 85 decibels or louder and zero to 40,000 megahertz sound spectrum or 40, yeah, 40,000 hertz sound spectrum. Sorry, I said megahertz there. And then it says a 6.5 premium diam, dynamic speaker. So like I said, it's, it's a good sound quality when you're listening to music. The only issue again was, so the big issue for me with these was it having to fool with that volume a little bit. I couldn't really just kind of crank it up and leave it right there because it did start to pick up a lot more of the birds chirping things walking in the woods not so much of the person talking but again just gotta fool with the volume a little bit and then you'll get it where you need it and it's not that bad so i really enjoyed these again that was the only issue i had was how it did with some of the residual noise around me now uh before I forget, price point. So price point, you can get these in a standard. So you're getting the same thing here. Uh, what you see here, it's just not Bluetooth. So you can get them in a standard where all they are are the headsets. So it's the exact same thing you've got right here. It's just not Bluetooth. And the standard are 139. The Bluetooth are 199. So not bad about what you're gonna pay if you got some decent uh, just standard Bluetooth headsets and I've had people come out on the range and use those and they say they do really well uh, Blocking out the sound. The only thing is with those. It's just Bluetooth You're not getting the amplified hearing protection where with the axles here you're getting amplified hearing protection and 
you're getting Bluetooth headsets. Same thing with the walkers. Amplified hearing protection, Bluetooth headset. Now, as you notice, these are a little bit more like the uh, uh, LG headsets that used to be out there. And then what you do to get your ears out, you just pull it out. And then you've got your little button right here. Just smash that button and it'll line them right back in there. And then they go around your, just around your neck like that. Pull these out. Right to your ear, just like that right there. Now with these, I will say the sound quality talking on the phone was a lot better because your microphones are right up here at the front. And yes, even with my beard right there covering up, it didn't muffle the sound out. My beard's not that big. But they're not hanging behind you like what the axles were. So, but I mean, honestly, I don't really use these too much to actually talk on the phone. Uh, usually because if I've got my Bluetooth on in the vehicle and the vehicle has Bluetooth. So if I'm talking on the phone, I'm going to talk on the phone. But now these listening to music were um, really, really good. They had really great sound quality. I, again, no issues with the sound quality with the music, no issues with the sound quality talking on the phone, and no issues talking on the phone from the person being able uh, to hear me. And these come with uh, just phone tips. And with these, you get a small, a medium, and a large uh, phone tip. Uh, for me, the uh, medium phone tips uh, were the best. Uh, the small were too small. They sunk way down deep into my ear and the large were just too large They didn't really want to go in my ear and when they were in my ear They kind of started uh, to hurt a little bit. So the medium uh, is what worked perfect uh, for me And everybody's gonna be different. That's why they send different sizes, but you do get uh, small medium and large foam tips. This is the case so you don't get the little kind of a this is kind of a hard zip up case you get kind of a soft case and then you just kind of fold them up like that and just stick them down in there and look now they don't want to cooperate with me just pull it tight there you go and then i didn't show you these did i so what i do is just kind of roll them around my finger here Tuck this in, tuck this in, right down there like that. Kind of have to get them where just right, I won't say just right, but and then flip that over, and then this just zips up, and there, there they are. It's a nice little, it's got a little loop here, so if you got a D ring clip around your belt, something like that, you've got that as an option. I just leave them hung around my neck when I'm not using them. So not that big of a deal. But back to these real quick. So with these, they are reducing it to, cause it's just the phone tips. You only get one reduction. So uh, 31 decibels on the noise reduction. Again, three phone tips, small, medium, and large. Uh, now, the thing I like, really, really like about these is you have four different settings. You have a universal, a speech clarity, a high frequency, and then a power boost. Um, the power boost, it really kind of turned these into the axles where if you got it too loud, you're catching everything, everything. Uh, but now that's these are modes when you're using them as hearing protection these aren't modes with the bluetooth headset so the power boost seemed to turn up everything um i'll be honest i use the universal four class i use the speech clarity i use the high frequency um not really too much of a difference uh, except with i will say with the speech clarity uh, it seemed to no matter how high i went up on the volume it seemed to just mute out a lot of everything going on around me and i could only hear people talking so that was a really really cool feature there but the universal and the high frequency i didn't see too much difference there 
Uh, the power boost just boosted everything. Speech clarity actually, it was really cool. It boosted just the speech because I didn't think they were working. And uh, Ken Scott, the class I was in, he started talking and it was just clear as day. Uh, so that was a really, really nice thing there. And the other thing is you get an app that you can download onto your phone and you can control the modes and um, the modes, you can control the volume and it's got an auto shut off time. You can control uh, the shut off time as well too. Uh, so a great, great thing with uh, the walkers is that app being able to control the modes and the shut off time and things like that, where with the axles, they don't have that app um, and uh, they don't have a shut off time. Uh, price point with the walkers, the standard, so you can get these standard where they're not Bluetooth, just the amplified hearing protection, uh, 139, same as the standard in the axle, but now you are saving a little bit of money uh, with the walkers by the Bluetooth, they're only 179. So there is $20 price difference. So standard in these 139, standard in these 139. Bluetooth 199, Bluetooth 179. And I'm gonna have links for both of these down in the description so you can go in and look at those descriptions uh, yourself. Uh, I don't think there were any major things to point out just the big thing, I guess the one major thing is you get an app that will allow you to control the headsets and the volume and the shut off time and all that. And yes, I tested the shut off time. These will, the walkers will shut off uh, when you set it. I think it was two, four and six hours uh, were the, the differences. But now that just means if you just turn them on and leave them on, they're gonna shut off. But now if you're starting to, if you're manipulating the volume and stuff like that, Kind of like your screen, kind of like a screen uh, with your, your cell phone here. As long as you're touching the screen and doing stuff on the phone, it's not gonna go off. But once you stop whatever you have the time set at for the screen to um, go out, it's just how these are gonna do. Um, and everybody has been asking me because they've seen me wearing both. Um, everybody has been asking the big question, which ones do you like? I would honestly have to say it's a hard choice right now. It really, 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 really is a hard choice. Um, I know some of my buddies are gonna be like, hey, you should get the walkers, 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 walkers. Um, I don't know. I, I really like them both. Um, if I could kind of get the four extra features and the sound quality with these, then I would probably have to say the axles. And I don't know, I'd, I can't say I like one more than the other, but then I've also had people asking me, well, which ones do you wear more? And I think that is a, a more valid question. I'm saying that I like them over the walkers anymore, but I have been wearing the axles a lot more just because this, this right here is not that bad. It's not that it's uncomfortable. It doesn't like to squeeze my neck where I'm about to pass out. But after time, what happens is it starts to turn. So if I'm doing a lot of movement and stuff uh, with the class, what it starts to do is it'll be on my neck like this and they'll kind of start to rotate one way or the other. Now it doesn't rotate to the point where these are starting to get pulled out of my ear but it rotates to the point where it's starting to put a little pressure on it and I can kind of feel that they're getting a little bit of, you know, they're kind of starting getting tugged on. Again, nowhere close to coming out of my ear, but I kind of have to reach up and move them back around and circle them up or square them up. Where with these, once I, once I put these on, uh, they're on. The only time they kind of move a little bit is when I totally have them. When I have both of them out of my ear, then they will, kind of move one way or the other, but they don't do it while they're in my, while they're in my ear and while I'm using them, these things don't move. So I do wear the axles a little bit more than what I wear uh, the walkers. But again, not saying I like them more, it's just, 
I guess the the, the comfort of having just that cable um, around my neck is a little bit better than these when they start to rotate one way or the other. So if you want to say I like these more than whatever, I don't really necessarily say I like them more because sometimes I'll swap out to these. Honestly, um, I probably use these more with my rifle classes and these more with my pistol classes. Just because these with my rifle when I'm transitioning from shoulder to shoulder and stuff and with that sling up here right around it, that's another reason it's causing them to do this. Uh, these don't do that, they don't pull or anything like that. But yeah, I would say I wear these more when I'm doing rifle. I wear these more when I'm doing pistol. So both of them get worn. I just, I am sorry, I cannot sit here and say I like these over these. Uh, both of them are really great quality headsets. I'll have the links down in the description so you can go in and take a look at them. And I guess it really depends on what you like. If you like those uh, LG style headsets, then go for the walkers. If you like the beat style headset, go for the Axel. Um, again, I like these when I'm doing rifle. I like these when I'm doing pistol. Neither one of these companies sent these to me saying, hey, go review these. I spent my hard earned money uh, to buy each one of these because I wanted to see which ones I was going to like. Uh, I know Axel has an option where you can get uh, custom molded hair protection. Uh, but price point on that's getting up in like the, I think four to five hundred dollar range, and the people I know that have done it haven't really seen a difference between them and just the standard axles. But I'm gonna let them do their own reviews on that. I'm just going off of what uh, they've been telling me. I wasn't really worried about going that deep into it. Um, I was fine with either one of these. I like both of these. I use them. Um, if I'm doing stuff around the house and want to listen to music. So I use them for more than just uh, hearing protection. I use them for Bluetooth. So you've got some great options here to get you out of your standard big over the ear muffs that are really, really comfortable, have some really, really great sound. And again, you're getting Bluetooth and amplified hearing protection all in one. So next step, I'm probably going to be testing out uh, the ones that go just in the ear for the axle and for walker as well too. Uh, but right now I'm going to use these a little bit more just to see if maybe I can narrow it down to a saying, okay, these are the ones I like the best. But right now these get worn with rifle, these get worn with pistol. And then because they come in such a small case, uh, these tend to get worn probably a little bit more with the the bluetooth just again because i'm talking i'm not really talking on them so much but just because i with it being so small it's easier for me to keep them in my vehicle and then i keep these in my range bag that way if i'm not in my vehicle and go to the range i don't have to be like the dumbass going oh i forgot my ears uh so i've got these in the range bag these stay uh in the vehicle so i've got some ears everywhere plus i've got some uh, big over the ear razors in the range bag too, just in case these go down uh, because these are charged. They do, they do take charge, they're not batteries. Uh, they use the, the micro USB, so it's not the micro uh, USB-C, which is what a lot of the new cell phones are taking. It's the old uh, micro USB charger, uh, but it does come, the actual came with the chargers, the walkers came with the chargers, but I already had an extra one from an old cell phone, so I mainly use it because as you can see, I still got the little twisty on it, but some great, great options here. Um, I know y'all have been waiting on me to get this done and I really, really apologize. Uh, it's things have just been uh, crazy, crazy, crazy busy, but just that I can't thank y'all enough for watching the videos, commenting on the videos. I love to see the conversation. I love the questions. I try to respond to everybody. Uh, that do comment and ask questions and make suggestions. So if you've got them, keep them coming. Please continue to like and share. Uh, if you know somebody that likes into this stuff, send them me over to them and you know ask them to give me a good little click on the subscribe button there. Make sure to click that little bell icon also. Uh, but 
I'm going to do my best to start getting out some more content because things are kind of slowing down a little bit with the holidays coming. So I'm hoping to get out uh, some more content. I've got um, Core sent me one of their garrison belts to do a review on. They uh, were very appreciative and liked the review I did. Uh, the little opening box review I did with their uh, tactical belt. I'm getting ready to do a full review on it pretty soon. So we've got some stuff coming. Just bear with me. Um, keep following, keep liking, keep subscribing, and I cannot thank you all enough. And always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Trained to live. See you on the range.